We had one snow day in Vancouver this year. The things I miss most about these snowy days in my childhood include snowmen, playing video games with the boys while eating snacks we shouldn't have been eating, and lusting after cars. Good days. Driving is a lot like eating food. There are moments of utmost enjoyment, while some experiences are hard to swallow. My name is Willie. Join me on this adventure where we explore the automotive and culinary worlds. Welcome to Dashing and Dining. The first car I wanted in my youth was a Subaru WRX hatchback. Its rally-bred heritage and all-weather capabilities spoke to my growing and sugar-addicted brain. This 2011 WRX SDI hatchback looks good from most angles. It has good power at 305 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque. And all seems well, except that it's actually a fruit gusher. I loved gushers as a kid, but as an adult, the explosion isn't as fun. Angles that it doesn't look good in? The bare bones and rattly interior? And the longevity of some engines? This one is on its second motor. With all that being said, it's time to drive it in the best possible conditions to drive an all-wheel drive turbo sports hatch. And to get some insight from a Subaru WRX STI owner, Walter. The alignment's a little off. <laughs> yeah. The last shot that did it uh, kind of messed up. This is a pretty gentrified area. Everyone's looking at us with their Audis. They're like, oh, look at these undistinguished gentlemen <laughs> rumbling around <laughs> in the street. Hooliganery. <laughs> That's oh. right. <laughs> that is quite enjoyable sounding. Man, this car is built for these cold, icy roads. <laughs> Definitely the perfect weather for it today. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Not bad, man. This thing has a huge steering wheel. Yeah, definitely for a stock one. Uh, aftermarket soon one day. Yep. If I decide to forego airbag. <laughs> that's uh, pretty sadistic. Yeah. Or, sorry, that's pretty masochistic. <laughs> you you kind of have to be a masochist to own a vehicle like this, eh? Yeah, I mean, a little 15 minute wait time every time you start it is definitely, yeah. So you, you start the car, you wait 15 minutes before you drive. Yeah, have a smoke, you drive. sit there, you know, clear the snow, and just, you know, yeah. Yeah. And sorry, you just said have a smoke. Yeah. You don't vape? No, I don't. You are a masochist because you like suffering because you own a car like this. <laughs> yeah. You've already so, blown it up once. Yeah, um, around like a year into ownership, uh, this uh, complete stock motor went. And then Man. from there I got a stage one plus engine from uh, IEG. Okay. Since then I found an exhaust intake and uh, new suspension bushings. Yeah, I think those suspension bushings have really tightened up this car. Mm -hmm. Was that a costly modification? It took 10 hours of labor at least. Uh, the, everything else was rusted on the inside. Like all the previous bushings were rusted. I'll send some pictures. This car's from the East Coast. Yeah, the, uh, the original owners were from Quebec. Oh. I bought the car in Ontario, second or third owner. And That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> This is a, a French-Canadian car, Walter. <laughs> oui, oui. Oui. Before I got my license, I had a phase where I was like, Subaru's the best car. <laughs> and I really wanted a Subaru STI hatchback just <laughs> like this. Yeah. In like blue or white or red. Mm, exactly. Thank God, I couldn't afford one, but I wanted one. And then when I got my license, I realized how much of a, how much suffering you need to go through to own a vehicle like this. Like, Definitely feel it, yeah, that. Like, you've already gone through a motor. I, I don't think that's that pleasant. But that's pleasant. When you get to drive it, yeah. yeah. It's, it's 
it's all worth it. <laughs> It's easy to downshift. It's hard to heel toe. Mm -hmm. The position of the pedals is mm -hmm. a little weird. You need like size 14 feet <laughs> to heel toe downshift this thing. It's so a little bit of play in the center of steering. A little like, bit, yes. Yeah. Definitely can be up here. Like a newer STI steering rack is a little tighter. So okay. It definitely would give it a little. Yeah. You gotta turn a lot for this car to turn. Yeah. Even when you're going very slowly. Yeah. It's either fruit gushers have gotten worse, or I've just experienced better sweet snacks since I last blasted them into my mouth at the age of 15. A car like Walter's Impreza STI hatchback is a great car to own if you're a rallying fanboy, which I am, or if you enjoy all-wheel drive driving dynamics, especially in inclement weather, which I do as well. However, my major turnoff is the reliability of a Subaru EJ25 motor with questionable maintenance history. If you want one and you're worried about it fruit gushing, I'd suggest looking for one that's been properly maintained and cared for. If it's been neglected, instead of exploding into your mouth, it will explode a crater into your bank account. When the car is working, it's fantastic. If I ever own one of these, I'd make it mine by installing a cooktop in the hatch and by throwing in some poly bushings. That modification really brings the chassis rigidity to new levels. Polyurethane, uh, brand new polyurethane bushing is awesome. by uh, White Lion. Okay, yeah. Australia. Yeah, uh, oh, White Lion. Yeah, <laughs> White If line. they're from Australia. Okay, so White Lion bushings. If I ever get a Subaru, I'm gonna get White Lion bushings. <laughs> Spend 10 hours of labor. <laughs> What do you think of Fruit Gushers? Has the recipe gotten worse over time? The Subaru Impreza WRX STI really hasn't changed for about 30 years now. And that might not be so bad.